Ryan Garcia's penchant for the unconventional persisted backstage at the Barclays Center as he received a surprise visit from Mike Tyson just hours before his bout against Devin Haney on Saturday. Haney remained his typically composed self as he read for another significant bout coin signing with Tyson's visit to his training camp situated across the arena as the atmosphere around Garcia simmered with excitement. His theatrical antics leading up to the fight night were hard to ignore. However, backstage glimpses of the dream the reigning WBC super lightweight champion reveal a stark contrast. An aura of calmness and unwavering focus enveloped him. Garcia stepped into the ring for Saturday's bout boasting an impressive 24 for one record with an astounding 20 victories by knockout following his solitary defeat at the hands of Grant Davis in April 2023. Garcia swiftly regained his momentum, delivering a resounding knockout victory over Oscar Dwart in December of the same year. Meanwhile, Haney boasted an impeccable record of 310, clinching victory with 15 impressive finishes under his belt. His momentum surged with four consecutive triumphs, notably defeating George Cambosos Jer twice in 2022 and securing wins over Vasily Lomachenko and Regis progress in 2023. However, Garcia sent Haney to the canvas on three occasions, dealing the WBC super lightweight champion his initial defeat. Despite securing victory through a majority decision, Garcia couldn't claim the title due to exceeding the weight limit throughout the build-up. Garcia's peculiar actions in public and on social media raised concerns about his level of commitment to the fight. It appeared evident it hadn't dedicated sufficient time to his training regimen, considering he exceeded the 140 pounds limit by more than three loaves on Friday. However, Haney found himself overwhelmed by the sheer velocity and force wielded by his opponent. He suffered from the very onset succumbing to knockdowns in the 7th event 10th and 11th rounds. Gar IA emerged victorious with judges scoring about 115, 109 and 114, 110 in his favor, though the third judge saw it as a draw with a score of 112. 112 the Californian 25-year-olds clashed in the ring six times during their amateur careers. However, Haney's journey as a professional boxer outshone his opponents as he ascended to claim the undisputed lightweight championship before swiftly clenching the WBC title in his debut at the 140-pounds weight class. Meanwhile, Haney, who suffered his first defeat, said he caught me early, but I was sleeping on it caught me by surprise. Haney appeared to have a grip on the match for a stretch. However, as Garcia launched his attacks, he unleashed a flurry of punches that caught Haney off guard leaving him either unprepared or lacking the necessary tools to counter Garcia. Had the audience singing his name by the finish, Garcia clinched a remarkable win following his stretch of unpredictable actions and extravagant assertions including his insistence that he had summoned otherworldly beings Garcia Bello during his in-ring interview after the fight. Come on guys, you really thought I was crazy, you guys lost your own mind in the ring. Garcia unleashed his left hook with precision, sending shock waves in the 7th, 10th, and 11th rounds. His mastery of the punch was evident from the outset as he landed a thunderous blow in the opening round, shaking Haney to his core. Garcia said, I just knew I had control. After that, it's hard to recover from big shots, you know. Maybe my conditioning wasn't my best, but at the end of the day, I got the job done. Haney dropped to 31-1 while Garcia increased to 251. Ryan Garcia had turned his back. But why Garcia said when asked about the move, I don't know, I have ADHD, so I just start doing random things. At first, Haney found himself puzzled by the situation. However, undeterred, he relentlessly targeted Garcia's exposed back while Garcia remained focused on guarding his face and frontal area. Haney said, I thought the ref let him turn his back a little too much. Ryan Garcia takes a swipe at the press. Garcia was upset during the in-ring interview and seemed to be directing his A towards the media. He said, you guys hate on me because I'm pretty and exploited at the end of the day. I've been boxing all of my life and all I do is love God and try to help the children and you guys straight hated on me. You guys do not love the truth. But after the fight, Garcia did not become furious. He said, I need a shot of beer or like alcohol or something to get my mind going. You feel me, me? I'm just kidding, man. Can't you guys take a joke, man? Now, let's delve deeper into the fight. So in the first round, Garcia lands a hand full of hits. Garcia used a large left hand. Haney was amazing. Garcia goes for another left in combination. Haney responds by firing a right. Garcia continues to punch. Garcia is removing the load as the round comes to an end. Haney studies himself. Haney 9 and Garcia 10 round 2 and 4 folds with Haney asserting dominance from the outset, landing a flurry of precise lefts while Garcia responds with erratic swings. Haney maintains a calculated approach, steadily utilizing his left hand to control the pace. Garcia, no longer reckless, appears composed, hinting at untapped power, waiting to be unleashed. A significant right hand from Haney finds its mark momentarily stalling Garcia's momentum. Despite moments of inactivity, Garcia retaliates, reminding Haney of his presence in the ring. The round concludes with both fighters evenly matched at 19 points each. Meanwhile, round three unfolds with Garcia 
Launching an overhand right though it only grazes his opponent, unfazed Darcia continues his assault yet fails to find his mark amidst the flurry. Haney manages to land a solid connection with his left. The fighter ERS briefly tangle up with Haney, showcasing a cautious respect for Garcia's power. While utilizing his jab effectively, Haney scores with successive hits, visibly irking Garcia, who appears increasingly frustrated. Haney's composure shines through asserting control as the round ends with Haney, leading 29 to Garcia's 28 in the fourth round. Garcia dials up his aggression, showing a newfound intensity. However, their dance in the ring leads to entanglements. Once more, Haney shifts gears, becoming the pursuer, while Garcia attempts to shield himself behind his left shoulder, yet evading Haney proves futile. A precise left from Haney finds its mark followed swiftly by Garcia's own counter with a powerful right. Despite Garcia's attempts, he finds himself on the defensive retreating without much activity. The judges tally it up Haney at 39 Garcia. At 37, the fifth round it unfolds with Haney expertly flicking out jabs while Garcia throws a flurry of punches. Yet none find their mark. Haney maintains dominance as Garcia's attempts fall short. Garcia's right hand misses again, followed by a brief grappling exchange. The energy of the first round feels distant as the crowd voices its discontent with Poos. Suddenly, Garcia connects with a solid right and momentarily clinches Haney. The fighters are swiftly separated, revealing a hint of hesitation in Haney's demeanor as the round concludes. Haney leads 49 to Garcia's 46. The next witness, Garcia, adopting a more assertive approach, unleashing a formidable right followed by a precise left, suggesting trouble for Haney Garcia's evident power superiority was palpable. However, Haney swiftly regained dominance, aggressively cornering Garcia and launching a flurry of strikes. Although caution for a back hit, it was Garcia evading Haney's advances. The crowd voiced their disapproval as both fighters momentarily slowed down. The scorecard reads Haney 58, Garcia 56. Round 7 saw Haney aggressively pinning Garcia against the ropes, only for the two to swiftly disengage. Garcia seized the opportunity, connecting with a powerful left that sent Haney crashing to the canvas as Haney struggled to regain his footing. Garcia pressed on with relentless aggress. However, the referee intervened, docking a point from Garcia for an untimely strike following a clinch. The bout continued with Haney experiencing further turmoil, hitting the floor twice more though both instances were ruled slips amidst the chaos.